Okay here, so we're continuing here with 7.2, um, no problem here, still on um, things with the unit circle and trig functions. Um, if we had sine of negative pi over 6, basically that's like saying negative sine of pi over 6, and pi over 6 is the 30 degree finger, um, and the 30 degree finger when we're doing this, um, remember we're looking at sine of 30 degrees, which is sine is square root of the left over 2, which is square root of 1 over 2, so it's 1 over 2 with that negative out in front. That's why it's negative 1 half. Over here, we have cosine of negative pi over 4 is what that is. So that's a negative pi over 4, which is the same as just saying cosine of pi over 4. And pi over 4 is 45 degrees, which is the middle finger. So cosine is everything to the right, so square root of the right over 2, or root 2 over 2 is the answer for that one. Reference angles, they are acute angles to the terminal Yummy. side. They must be angles that can fit on your hand, so 0, 30, 45, 60, 90, which we went over these all before. So finding reference angles in quad 1, it is what it is. If it's in quadrant 1, that is the reference angle. In quadrant 2... Basically, you're going to do pi minus whatever that is. That will help you find it, or 180 minus that if it's a degree. Either way. Um, if it's in quadrant 3, you're going to do whatever that angle is, and you're going to minus 180 from it um, to figure out what it is. And over here, if it's in quadrant 4, it's 2 pi, or 360 minus that angle. Chunky, extra sec for e so, cosine of 2 pi over 3, like I told you in 7.1, the reference angle is just pi over 3, but you can find it also by knowing that, well, it's in quadrant 2, so it's pi minus 2 pi over 3, which is pi over 3 left over. Either way, we'll still give you pi over 3. And pi over 3 is the pointer finger, so um, with that in mind, um, we want to find cosine, which is everything to the right, which is one finger, so it's one, square root of one over two, which is one over two. So one over two, but in quadrant two, um, cosine is negative, so it's negative um, one over two. Um, sine of 19 pi over four, the reference angle, according to what we did in the last uh, unit there, is just pi over four, no problem. Um, we know that, but where is it going to end up? So this is zero here. It's going to end up in quadrant 2. And there's the answer for the last one. But because this is uh, 2 pi is 8 pi over 4, over here would be pi over 4 as well. And I guess that problem got all screwed up there, so don't worry about that one. Um, it's pi over 4. It's in quad uh, quadrant 2. So uh, in pi over 4, um, sine would be root 2 over 2, and in quad 2, sine is uh, positive, so it would be uh, root 2 over 2 is your final answer. So example 6 here, find the values of the trig functions of 0. Well, 0 would be right here, so it's 1, 0, and since it's right on the unit circle, it's x and y. So if it's x and y, um, x is cosine, y is sine, remember that, so... We know that sine is 0, we know that cosine is 1, tangent is x or y over x, which is 0 over 1, which is 0. So to find all these answers, just do the reciprocals. So to find the reciprocal of uh, 0, well, that would be like saying 1 over 0, which is undefined. You can't, you can't have 0 on the bottom. To find the reciprocal of sine, that would be like saying 1 over 0, which is undefined as well. To find the reciprocal of cosine, that's like saying 1 over 1, which is just 1. Um, this one is pi over 4. Pi over 4 is in um, quad 1. And that's 45 degrees, which is the middle finger. So that means you put down um, the middle finger. And um, you have square root of the left over 2, which is root 2 over 2. And the square root of the right over 2, which is also root 2 over 2. So you get... Um, root 2 over 2 for both of them, but in quadrant run they're both positive. So it'd be root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. Tangent, 
would be um, the square root of the left over the square root of the right, which is root 2 over root 2, which is 1. So to find your answer for the rest of them, you just flip them. That would be root 2 uh, when you flip it, because it would be 2 over root 2. You can't have a root 2 on the bottom. So you multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 2. They cancel out, leaving you with just root 2. So that means this, because they're identical, would also be root 2. And when you flip 1, you get 1 for cotangent as well. So, example 6 here. Now, use your hand to do pi over 2. That's right there, but you don't have to use your hand because pi over 2 is right here on the um, actual axis. Remember, x is cosine, y is sine. So, when we go to do this, sine is 1 because that's y. Cosine is x, which is 0. Tangent is um y over x or 1 over 0. 1 over 0 is undefined. So when you flip sine, you get, uh, when you flip 1 for sine, you get 1. When you flip cosine, it'll be 1 over 0, which is undefined. And when you flip something that's undefined, that means there's a 0 on the bottom, so now there's a 0 on the top. So 0 divided by anything is 0. So, got to remember negatives with trig functions. What happens when you have negatives? Well, when you have a negative on the inside with sine, you can just pull it out. So, it'll be negative sine of whatever is left over on the inside. Um, so, if sine is that way, that means cosecant would be the same identical way because they are reciprocals of each other. Tangent is the same way. You can just pull the negative out to so be negative tangent of t. And because cotangents, it's reciprocal, that is the same exact thing. The only one that's different is cosine. With a negative on the inside, cosine is what it is. It's just cosine of t. So it doesn't matter if it's negative or not. So that means secant would be the same way. When there's a negative on the inside, it doesn't matter. It's actually just going to be secant. So it doesn't matter. Holy shnikey. So sine of negative 45 degrees is like saying negative sine of 45 degrees. So 45 degrees is your middle finger. So square root of the left over 2 is root 2 over 2. So it would be negative root 2 over 2. Um, tangent of negative pi over 3. Well, um, we pull the negative out. So it would be negative tangent of pi over 3. And pi over 3 is your pointer finger. So tangent is the square root of the left over the square root of the right. So it would be the square root of 3 over the square root of 1. So it would be root 3. But since there's a negative on the outside, that's negative. Cosine of negative 30 degrees is the same as saying cosine of 30 degrees. Either one will give you the same thing. 30 degree finger is the ring finger. Cosine is the square root of the right over 2, which is root 3 over 2. And there's your answer. No negative out in front. Number 10. Um, to find cosecant, you need to find um, which you pulled out, so that's negative. But you need to find sine of 30 degrees first, and then flip it. So you put down your ring finger, because it's your 30 degree finger. And sine of that is the square root of the left over 2. So that's 1 over 2. But you had to flip it to get cosecant, so that would be 2 over 1. So it's actually um, negative 2 as your answer. Oh, no. What? So last but not least, um, if cosine is 3 fourths, find all uh, the trig values. That's adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent over hypotenuse. Use the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side. So I plug in the 3 and the 4. So that's 9 plus b squared equals 16. Subtract so 9 on both sides. I figure out that b squared is 7. So square root of both sides, that means it's root 7. So I get root 7 for that side. Now I can find the rest by doing so Katoa because sine is root 7 over 4. Cosine was already given as 3 over 4. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, which is root 7 over 3. So all you need to do is find the reciprocals. So you flip that. And when you flip that, you get 4 over root 7. Um, but you got to multiply by root 7 on the top and the bottom because you can't have square roots on the bottom. So you get 4 root 7 over 7. Um, that would be 4 thirds when you flip it. When you flip that, you get 3 over root 7, but you can't have roots in the bottom, so you end up with 3 root 7 over 7. 
So if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know for this section. It's basically the same as 7.1, dealing with reference angles um, and um, finding actual uh, points and things on the unit circle. But if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know.